chocolate shooting stars. I'm Winter and this is the cave. We're going to play through this game together. So let's do what it's telling us to do and press enter. Welcome. Hello. Don't let my sultry and mysterious voice startle you. For hundreds, nay thousands, nay, nay, nay tens of thousands of years, people have come to me in search of what they desire most. Pancakes? Few find what they are looking for. Pancakes? Even fewer ever leave. Oh, the pancakes Welcome have to, to be really bad the here. Cave. <laughs> That's me. Title the cave. Drop. Wait. Yes, yes, you're I'm a talking cave. You're a talking cave? cave. <laughs> Don't laugh. It makes dating hell. So Besides, funny. I have a really interesting story to tell you this evening, so pay attention. It's a story of seven people and a glimpse into a dark place in each of their hearts. Ooh, but be careful before you judge. There is a dark place in your heart as well. Oh. Someday you will find yourself descending my depths in search of what you desire. And you might not like what you find either. <laughs> but enough about you. This is about them. Here we are. This is actually the Carter selection screen. Uh, we get to... Uh, we have many ways to play this game. I'm going to completely avoid using a mouse, maybe except a single a specific part of a specific level, but let's um, get an introduction to these characters, which is exactly what also we get uh, told in the official trailer for this game. So if you've seen that, this is nothing new. The scientist. She is on the cusp of a great discovery for all of humankind, and a hundred million lives hang in the balance. For science! I don't know why it started from the scientist, but let's go to the left! Ah, the time traveler. She is here to right a wrong a million years in the making. Saving the future! Fortunately for her, yesterday is a new day. The hillbilly. On this fine night, he searches for his true love. But does desire burn too brightly in his heart? All these Carter's descriptions hint at things that have happened in their lives or that are going to happen in the game, so pay attention to them. <laughs> the knight. He is on a quest for a sword of unequaled power and prestige. But will he find it before anyone else gets hurt? Ah, the monk. He seeks his master so he can become the master. It's a journey filled with peace and enlightenment. And murder. <laughs> I'm sorry. Honestly, this part was the one that made me wish to get the game when I heard that in the trailer. The twins. They just want to go outside and play. What could be more innocent than that? Oh, how cute. Oh, the adventurer. She is hot on the trail of her lost companions and unequaled ancient treasure. But not necessarily in that order. So what we get to do is to pick uh, one of these characters and let's start with the knight, move it around. This is actually that uh, simple. This is, you get to immediately get in the action with these characters. So what we do here is get the crowbar and move to the left and get here. This is our exit, and what we do once we get past this point is that these characters get selected for us and we're going to keep them. So assuming, for example, I get the knight to see, now knight is number one, I still have time to change my mind, but there it is. We pick the knight and we can only pick a total of three characters out of seven. This is a puzzle game, so you get to number three, uh, um... What are we going to pick? I want the time trap. We get the, the, ah, the mouse is better. <laughs> Let's move the time traveler over here, and we get to pick another character, which is going to be the twins because they are so cute and innocent and adorable. So now we got our selection of three characters, and we're going to only play with the three of them throughout the entire game, which means that if we want to play with each character at least once. We have to play through this game at least three times. We'll get back to it later. Uh, puzzle game again. And uh, the gimmick of this game is that uh, each character has its own ability. So s puzzles uh, can be solved in many different ways depending on which characters you're controlling. Plus, each character has its own specific level which uh, takes better advantage of that character's specific skill. 
But the point here is to have three different characters that you get to pick and to be able to get through the puzzles in many different ways depending on which abilities they have. This is a time traveler and here, a thing. One of the best things I like about this game are the details. Uh, for example, in the animations. I mean, j just look at that beautiful light of those hover boots, that's uh, beautiful. And my favorite uh, character, animated character of all of them is definitely the knight. I want you to pay attention to the way he moves. Why did it jump forward? It wasn't supposed to jump forward. <laughs> I want you to pay attention to the way it moves, the way it uh, looks around when it stops controlling it. Unless it's sold in a crowbar. No, it still does that. I love it and we're going to talk about it later again. You break it, you buy it. Sorry. Just saying. I don't think that bridge has been safety tested with more than two people. Hmm, more than two people you say, yeah? By the way, every time we talk about people in this game, uh, the twins, if you pick them, only count as one in each circumstance, no matter what you Careful. do. Careful. If that bridge breaks, there might be no way back up and by if i mean when that bridge breaks <laughs> because we all know what's going <laughs> to happen <am> kidding <laughs> indeed so uh, i guess weight wise it kind of makes sense that they're considering twins uh, to be the same as uh, a full uh, a single adult person but uh, well let's have some fun breaking things well that was something we got to keep the crowbar. We can throw it on the ground, we can keep it with us. I'm going to uh, leave for now and... Uh, somebody's crying over there? Let's get back to the crowbar later. Hello, mister! What's going on? Oh, oh, oh I hope you're not here to visit the cave because we... Uh, we I do I am. Close. Oh no! A gruesome and horrific accident has occurred and there's no way we can open. No way. Is that a murder? I shudder to even describe to you what has transpired. Did the, the pancake nightmares? monster eat all the pancakes? Your every what happened? Well, if you insist. When I came in, we had no trinkets to sell in the gift shop. <gasps> <laughs> At least the pancakes are safe. Oh well, I guess we're going back home. You know. Yeah. There is a way I could reopen. Now just look at these facial expressions. Adventurers to partake in the unique experience that only the cave has to offer. I love it. I just need three small trinkets to sell. Just three. How many? Let me say that number again. Three. Seven. Take this giant novelty-sized key. It's cute, isn't it? Open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. Alright, so to summarize... Haste makes waste uh, is a stupid saying. Still, so, get cracking. to summarize, we've gotta find five trinkets of some kind to make the shopkeeper open the shop for us. And by the way, I would never have known if I hadn't uh, seen that in the credits, but the person voicing the cave is the same person voicing the shopkeeper. That's kind of insane. That's awesome. I love the voice acting in here. So the door is closed, just in case you're not sure about it. I picked up a postcard. And I'm going to steal it! <laughs> Here's another... I can hover over the water, that's kind of awesome. Here's a thing... <laughs> he is a funny little man, isn't ...about he? this specific puzzle game. Fire if you play the portal, for the example, deal. you know that every time you go through a level... Uh, I left the crowbar back there, but uh, okay. Every time you go through a level... You are forced to abandon whatever items you have with you. They get destroyed when you try to enter the elevator to access the next area. You just can't bring things with you. Because if you did, you would break... Does anything happen if we do this? No. You would break the, pu the next puzzles. In here, this is actually a gimmick. You can and you are almost encouraged to bring items from one level to the other. If you know what you're doing, you can make the next level easier. To open this gate, we gotta pull two levers at the same time. There you go, and I use the key numbers, the number keys, to switch between characters, and get over here, and now the gate is open. Plus, if we jump over the spikes and pull the lever, now the gate is going to stay open so our characters can all cross. Let's switch back to the night. This thing we have just left here on the right. 
is a thing. <laughs> the gloomy one over there. Those are portraits. If you reach them, you get to see a tiny piece of the Carter's past. So you get to understand their story, what they're doing here, how they got here, and their characters in general. Here's one that we access, that we can access immediately, that's the knights. Boop! So we get this picture where we see the knight and a kid. And the knight seems to be in pain. Probably a heart attack or something. That's horrible. Uh, there is, uh, there are many of those things and there is uh, a total of, uh, I believe, 8 for each character plus 2 at the end. And some of them take a tiny bit more of time to find, but it's almost impossible to miss them. We get levers here. And bones. Uh, time traveler. Here, I'm gonna show you one of the abil character abilities. If you press Q, you phase through space because time traveling alone is not sexy enough. We need to jump over here so we can do it. Oh my goodness! Uh, there's no dying in the cave. At least not this soon. Funny. So much left for them to learn. So we get to die. We, whenever we happen to jump into danger, we just get to respawn immediately. We also get an achievement for never dying once for an entire game through, but... Uh, hi! Oh my goodness, that... <laughs> I really like the design of that thing. That thing. Design is so simple, but whatever. There's an achievement for never dying once, but I never got that. There's nothing here. And back here, if we remember correctly, there is another place, uh, but it's broken. And we need a bucket, we need a bucket because we want to place a bucket up here to be able to collect this. So how do we do that? I need to break this. How do we break this? Mm. The knight's ability is feather falling, ah, that I didn't show it really well. And the protection from all damage, so that's kind of cool. Uh, how do we break uh, the wall? So far, every time in my playthrough, I would just uh, bring the crowbar back from the previous area. And I would use that on the well. But here, I didn't, because I'm silly. So, how do we do that instead? <laughs> I've played through this game many times already, and I managed to get stuck in the first area. Good job, Winter. You have forgotten <laughs> to bring an item you really need from uh, the shop all the way down here. Uh, there's a lot of backtracking in this game. Uh, let's see, is there anything here? No, there isn't. Did it fall down here? It's not down here. Oh, it's here. I'm silly. Right, I did bring it from the... Did I bring it from... Yes, I did bring it. <laughs> At least we went sightseeing. And if you look to the left, you can admire the cave. Oh yeah, let's get back to the well, the first one up there. Uh, and yes, there's going to be a whole bunch of uh, just uh, bringing characters into position in this game. It's going to take a while. But the puzzles themselves are actually pretty damn simple. There we go. We get this rusty crank. 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 Hmm, cranky. Also, I can't help but keep paying attention to the way the knight's helmet uh, wiggles back and forth. Let's put this here. And there we go! We get the buck! Oops! Do I have to pay for that too? <laughs> There's the time traveler's portrait. Behold the future! That looks awesome! Let's get the bucket, we need it. We're going to place it where we saw the thing up there that makes the levers work. The time travel is still here with our, po with <laughs> with our postcard. Uh, it's possible to play through, th uh, through this game in multiplayer. Some achievements are not enabled, I believe, and some other stuff. I have never played it. I'm assuming you get... Uh, there's the fuse box. I'm assuming you get... Uh, every player gets one character to control. That would make things much faster, let me tell ya. There is no way to call all the characters in the same spot, because there are many 
times in the game when some characters will get stuck and they're supposed to be stuck until we solve the puzzles. Otherwise, you break them. Ah, I needed that. <laughs> that wasn't necessary. We got an old dog machine. And we're collecting the... Oops, I accidentally bought another thing. We're going to bring this thing over there. By the way, if you notice any correlation to Maniac Mansion, yeah, the same person is behind both games, so a very similar concept of having many characters both controlling only three at the same time. We put that thing over there, and we are going to have an evil plan now going on. So yep, that's uh, uh, Ron Gilbert who worked on both games. He had the uh, Oh, we need a fuse box over here, I totally... <laughs> Let's pick it back up. Boop. Yeah, he's the person behind the cave, behind many mentions, some uh, uh, Monkey Island games, if not uh, all of them, I'm not entirely sure. So if you notice some references and similarities and anything, that's the reason why. Let's climb back up here again. Oh, look at the twins helping each other climbing on things. That's so adorable. How cute they are. Let's place the fuse box back in here, which means now we can pull the levers again, which is going to just pick up a couple of bones again, but use... Oh! Unless I pick up the... <laughs> okay, it's still there. <laughs> I didn't know that was possible. So, pretty clear what we're going to do. The bell is going to call the monster, and we're going to pull the lever. I, I feel horrible. Oh. Hmm. Completely safe. We can get everybody down here. I believe you can actually. Uh, we're not going to get to try to get all the achievements. That would just be too much of a hassle. So we're going to get the crowbar back. I actually don't need it, but I like bringing things over there, so I'll keep it anyways. And uh, Italy, there are a couple of places where all the characters will get together automatically. That's the twins. So at the end of every level, I believe they do that. Uh, cute kids and a happy family. That's awesome. I knew they were cute and happy. There we go. Yeah, this, all the characters got back in here. So this is a leap of faith and it's going to bring us to the next level. So let's do it. Oh, well, I was just a pool of water. <laughs> That was anticlimactic. Let's get down here. And actually... Let's leave the postcard. I'm going to bring that through the entire thing. I'll, I'll try to. I may forget it. We get dynamite over here, which we can use up there to clear the way. So we're going to do just that. To light up. We have a flame. How convenient. Pick up the postcard again. And keep going. Bones in the back. Ah, uh, there we go. Finally we found uh, something. Those are the trinkets. Uh, and uh, I just realized I'm going to have to give up the postcard. If I'm not careful. Uh, let's get past everything. And let's pick up this with another character, so... Oh, I forgot the crowbar. Oop. Oh well. Given its statue. Meditation statue. Hmm. We're going to keep going, we're going to... Wait, this is not the way I'm supposed to go. I, I'm supposed to go up here. Some levels are really big and get really confusing. You have to memorize all the paths. But it gets simple enough. Ah! See, this is one of those things. If we had a scientist, we'd be able we'd be able to hack that uh, console computer place, and I would keep the door open without needing other characters to be here. So uh, we need to get the twins and get the treasure we saw underwater by swimming through it. You can die of uh, by uh Ooh, cash, cash! You can die by staying on the water for too long, you can drown. There is also a tiny bit unusual for side-scrolling games, but there is also fall damage. You can die if you fall from a place too high. Some puzzles involve managing to get all the characters down from a great height completely safely. 
So, interesting. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hmm, do you see what happened there? I got stuck, and I got stuck because this game, it does have a problem. It's pretty damn glitchy. Now the door is going to stay open, okay. There are game breaking bugs that may force you to restart from the very beginning. And uh, can I leave the pass card here? No? Okay, so I'm going to send those two up there. I don't think that I was required to bring the pass card to this level actually. And uh, I'm going to get you back. Now I'll uh, leave the postcard, and there is one last trinket, trin trinket we need to collect up here. Right here. Plushy! Oh, it's pink, that's adorable. Let's get uh, over here. Get here, please collect the postcard, which uh, apparently was needed to be brought through this. <laughs> get to know. And we're off! Now we need to bring all characters back to the gift shop, and that's a lot of backtracking, so I'm going to skip it. We're back at the gift shop, so let's uh, make this shopkeeper well, happy. Well, that's one trinket, a far cry from three trinkets. How many? Four? So, here's another one. Ah, trinket numero two. What would you consider Maybe that? Maybe I didn't pay attention during math <laughs> class. But, uh, two is less than three. <laughs> what would you consider an entire bag of money, only one thing? You could split ah, it, you could the open the third it. glorious trinket! I have to say, you have surprised me. I figured you'd give up after one. Aww, you're underestimating me. Let's go! Door's still closed. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to get back because I left my postcard over here. <laughs> I brought it through the entire level and it was not necessary at all. <laughs> oh well, that will get me used to actually doing that for the rest of this let's play. See ya! Oh, we have a sign here. Hmm, I accept. <laughs> this is what I usually do. <laughs> well, that was a close one. And don't it does them. bode well for our intrepid spelunkers that they navigated that maze of intrigue. I have high hopes for this group. Much better than the last. I think they may still be down here. I should probably get them out. Nothing scares away the tourists like a rotting corpse. Okay, so here is a fall damage puzzle because if we try to get over that, we can't. But we have many different ways to deal with the issue. So let's get the knight here. Now, this person can jump over here and that's what you're supposed to do. Ooh. Here's another one. An opportunity, and the kid is uh, grabbing the helmet and the horse is staring at us. So, what's happening? Let's, uh, yeah, let's keep going. The way you're supposed to solve this puzzle is to get down here with one character, make the other one move, and get to the box so that the other characters can jump on the box. Here it is, where are the twins? Uh, right here. Uh, I have shown the time traveler's ability and the knights, but not the twins. So the twins get to create a ghostly co copy of themselves, which is going to be useful for those puzzles that require people, uh, that, that require levers, levers to be pulled and kept pulled that way. So the twins are over here. The time traveler is over here, and I forgot the knight that you're supposed to move the box after you got all the characters down there, but the knight has his ability of his, so we can just jump down safely. That's uh, the point of this game, that's how you can manage to solve puzzles with different characters' abilities. Whee! I did not forget the postcard, did I? No, okay, I didn't. 